Hello and welcome to yet another exciting course in the EpiGuider series entitled Creating Dashboards Using Power BI. My name is Wilfred Ngua. In this video, I will be presenting you with an overview of this course. Power BI, which is one of Microsoft's products, is a software used in data cleaning or data modeling, analysis, and visualization through the creation of reports and dashboards. The BI in the name of the software actually stands for business intelligence, which might give you the impression that the software is only used for handling of business related data. Maybe the designers of this powerful software had business in mind when developing the software. I can however tell you with certainty that the software can be used to do just anything, so long as you fuel it with data. In this course, we will be focusing on health-related data in creating our dashboards. Because of the powerful functionality that comes with the software, you can connect to more than one database or data sources at the same time, permitting you to create very beautiful and interactive dashboards. The ultimate goal of collecting data is to guide decision making. Power BI is one of those software that will bring the data collectors analysts and decision makers on the same table. There are many reasons why you might want to use Power BI. Zello on his website listed nine of them, but I will focus on five which fall within the scope of this course. One, it is easy to connect your data together. Power BI makes it incredibly easy to bring your data together in one place for greater accessibility, organization, and visibility in your reporting efforts. The tool currently supports up to 70 connectors out of the box, letting you load data from a wide range of highly used cloud-based sources, in addition to Excel spreadsheets, CSV files, and data located on premises such as the SQL database. With these inbuilt connectors, you can load pre-built Power BI dashboards in seconds, and perform powerful data analysis within minutes, and you can always customize elements further to your liking. You can also start from scratch by importing your data sets and developing your own dashboards and reports. Power BI's drag and drop interface also means you don't have to code or copy and paste anything to get started. You can combine multiple files such as Excel spreadsheets, and analyze the merged data in one report. Power BI's Power Pivot Data Modeling Engine is highly powerful and performant in the sense that it comprises huge databases and ensures they load fully into memory for the best possible performance. It is not uncommon for your Power BI workbook or PBIX file to be significantly smaller than your original data sets. In fact, one gigabyte databases are usually compressed down to around 50 to 200 megabytes in size, which is pretty much impressive. While in comparison, Excel starts to slow down when dealing with large models, Power BI is optimized to deal with tables in excess of 100 million records without breaking a sweat. Power BI also implements automated incremental refreshes ensuring data is always up to date, an invaluable advantage that further streamlines visual reporting for end users. In short, Power BI efficiently condenses and loads millions of records into memory, enabling a quicker and synapia data analysis experience for end users. Power BI comes with a ton of prepacked standard visuals to leverage in your interactive reports, such as bar, colon, line, map, metric, pie chart, scatter plot, tables, and lots more, each with their own variety of customization options for enhanced presentation and functionality. 
For that extra touch, however, you can utilize free custom visuals created by developers and shared with the Power BI community to represent your data in a way that tells your story the best. With custom visual files available from both Microsoft and the community over the AppSource marketplace, there's an impressive range of rich and complex visuals to take advantage of, including bullet graphs, correlation plots, decision trees, heat maps, sparklings, and more. If you want to present your data in a very specific way, Power BI makes it easy to create your own visuals rather than being stuck with the visual. It's also useful to see and use what the broader Power BI community is using to advance your own design techniques. Data governance is the practice of identifying important data across an organization, ensuring it's of high quality and improving its value to the organization. Data security, on the other hand, refers to the process of protecting data from unauthorized access and data corruption throughout its life cycle. Power BI lets you manage security and user access within the same interface, removing the need to use other tools to ensure you meet stringent compliance and regulatory standards. Power BI incorporates natural language search interfaces to allow users to create visualizations and discover insights using search terms in plain English without need for code or syntax. The main purpose of this course is to teach participants how to create interactive dashboards using Power BI in an efficient and easy manner. More specifically, participants will learn how to get raw data into the Power BI software, how to model this data, how to create reports and visualizations, and finally, how to share finalized reports both on the web and on mobile devices. The course makes use of a practical problem related to the rollout of the COVID-19 vaccine, which we will solve using real-life data while at the same time learning Power BI. As such, you will learn ways of using Power BI in your day-to-day -day work life. Secondly, learning a new skill takes you steps higher on the job opportunity ladder. As a human requirement, basic knowledge of Microsoft Excel will permit you grab most of the concepts easily. However, the most important human requirement is commitment to learn and gain a new skill. For material requirements, a computer and an active internet connection is a must. The scope is large. Epidemiologists, data managers, monitoring and evaluation coordinators, researchers, survey designers, doctors, nurses, business owners, etc. We are at the end of this lesson. Three main files will get us started with the course proper. The links to downloading these files are shared in the comments section. Also check the video description section for the full curriculum of this course. In our next video, we shall be getting started with Power BI proper. Until then, bye-bye.